My name is Paula Shelby. I am 64 years old and I am a lab technician. I'm Jerry Shelby Brightville. I'm the oldest daughter of Jackie and Paula Shelby. Um, I'm 46 years old. My name's Terry Moody. I am the second daughter of Jackie and Paula Shelby. Um, I'm 44 years old. I live in Brandon, Mississippi. My name is Carly Moody and I'm 17 years old. My name is Shelby May and I'm also 17 years old. And I'm a grandma. I have uh, eight grandchildren. I have three daughters. And I also have a lot of fur babies, a lot of pets, a lot of feathered friends. I have two children of my own, Coben Brakeville and Riley Brakeville Lofton. My name is Riley Brakeville Lofton and I am 21 years old and I go to Southern Arkansas University where I major in Agriculture Science, the pre-vet track. My name is Coben Brakeville. I am 22 going on 23 and I am about to graduate from Southern Arkansas University. And we are cousins of the Shelby family. Our mothers are both sisters, so that makes us first cousins. I am the daughter of Jerry Shelby Brakebill, and I'm the sister of Coben Brakebill. I am the oldest grandson of Paula and Jack Shelby. Being part of the Shelby family is kind of like having a legacy. Uh, we come from James Monroe Shelby. He was a private in the Confederate Cavalry. Great great grandfather Asa, um, who had so many children. I'm not sure exactly how many, but it's always fun when everyone gets together and you hear about things they used to do when they were kids or uh, places they used to go and uh, run through the woods because they were all around the uh, in the logging community um, there in the dimple area so and just knowing that and the history behind it is just a really cool thing to be a part of most of the shelby family lives in the blossom area um, some of them um, the older family members live near manchester um, in that area uh, in Texas. I'm very proud to be a Shelby. I love my family. Um, and I really wish I got to see more of them more often. It's really cool being a Shelby. And I love um, our family that we have, uh, our little uh, intimate family that we have. I have eight grandchildren and three daughters and I have two sisters. And my parents are deceased. I don't have a lot of extended family. I I love my family. I love them to pieces, and I absolutely love getting together with them, especially during the holidays. We had a really fun Thanksgiving a few days ago. Getting together for holidays has always been a big deal for my family, especially the Shelby's. We get around, we get together at Christmas and Thanksgiving and Fourth of July. Everyone enjoys being together, usually. Um, in the past, we've had. Uh, uh, games and that that kind of thing to have to have a good time. Oh, watching old movies, uh, making things together, uh, t-shirts, crafts, uh, painting, uh, cooking together. It's always fun. A favorite memory that I have of the family was about five years ago, maybe. It's about average. Yeah. And um, we were all out having a fireworks show and... Me and my cousin Blake had gotten all these fireworks and we were lighting them up. At some point they actually fell over. And they started shooting at the house and people were everywhere. The fireworks flipped over I guess and they all started shooting towards the house where we were sitting and it was hysterical. But we all ran for our lives so it was pretty funny. The babies were crying, my aunts and my grandpa were all panicking. It was the funniest thing. My favorite memory with the family is probably the time we all went trail riding with a wagon and a bunch of horses. Uh, we were coming back from the trail ride and once we got to the house, the horses all went crazy and they flipped over the wagon we were on and a couple of people got stepped on by some horses and it didn't really end very well. but. And I flew off a horse. Yeah, Coben, he, yeah, he fell down he and it was bad. <laughs> yeah, it was Gran got funny. stomped on by a horse and it didn't turn out very well. Um, some of the memories I have of the Shelby family are my great-grandma, Geraldine Shelby, 
and she would babysit me and my brother a lot of the time after school because both of our parents were working at the time. And some of my fondest memories are of when she would come over, or she'd already be there really, and I'd get off the bus, she'd open the door, and I'd give her a hug. We'd go sit down and watch Jeopardy. We would watch Price is Right, all these different game shows. We'd watch TV Land, um, Green Acres. There were some other shows that came on too. Gilligan's Island on TV Land. We'd watch Wheel of Fortune. And we just sat there and had a good time. And I got to bump from my great grandma, and that's an experience that a lot of people don't get to have. It was always a good time with grandma. Um, grandma Shelby, she was an awesome cook. Awesome cook. Every time you went to her house, you smelled something cooking. Um, she could make the best pot of beans imaginable. Um, <clears throat> she had a kind heart. She, um, she loved to fish. Uh, one particular memory I remember is riding in a car to go fishing. We took Grandma, we went by and picked her up, me, Dad, um, Terry. Uh, Kristen might have been with us uh, and Grandma. And so <clears throat> we'd go these back roads and windy back roads and um, Grandma always would catch more fish than us. And so this particular day I asked Dad, I said, Daddy, why does Grandma catch more fish than anyone else? And he said, it's because she spits her snuff on the worm before she throws it in the creek. So that was her secret for catching the most fish, is her snuff that she dipped. And she dipped until she passed away. So anyway, at least she caught a lot of fish. Uh, <laughs> one time there was a really bad ice storm in like 1999 or 2000. I was four or five years old at this point. It was, it was Christmas Day and we were taking a nap right after Christmas lunch. That was pretty scary. Um, we were here in our home and we kept hearing limbs crack and, and my husband and I, we were a little bit scared because our kids were small. We looked out and the, the limbs are popping off the trees and ice is falling. We had lost the power at our house and there were limbs frozen and it wasn't really safe for us to stay there. Um, Dad said, he stopped by and he said, y'all need to get out of this house. So we piled up and went down to his house, and uh, that was quite the adventure. And then in a little while, we hear that we hear, hear car doors come, and our family was coming. Our daughters and their families were coming. They were without electricity, and then uh, we had electricity for a couple of days, and then our electricity went out. And we had to go and get a generator. So all the family was at our house because we were the only ones that had the generator and had any power. So everybody and their dog went to Grandpa Papa Jack's house. We all camped and had a lot of family time during that time. It was some, some really good memories. Um, we cuddled and watched videos all day long because we had no satellite. So we watched videos and we cooked. We all sat around for a few days, chilled, hung out. Grandpa Papa Jack had a generator. So we watched The Bicentennial Man one or two times, maybe three, I don't really know. We cooked and played in the snow, built snowman. We had a lot of family time, done a lot of sledding. Uh, it was a real, real neat time. That went on for about three days, and when we finally got to go back to work, and things, Dad would, Dad took me to work, and uh, we we had quite the talk on the way. That was one thing we always had a lot of fun doing was having our little talks. I also remember my grandpa, Jackie Shelby. His full name is Jackie Wayne Shelby. We met uh, back in October of 1968. We met on a blind date. His um. His niece was my best friend, and uh, she set me up on a blind date with him. We picked him up at the pool hall downtown. We went to a ball game. And then we got married in July, the following July, the 17th, 1969, I'm sorry. We met in 68, we got married in 69. Worked at Green's Electric as a journeyman for numerous years, 20 years, and then he opened up his own business and he was a master electrician. He was a man of many, many uh, talents and uh, 
He was an electrician by trade. Although he was a handyman in many other areas, uh, worked as a plumber some of the time, um, electrical contractor of his own. Um, he tinkered around with mechanics. I remember as a small child even uh, being under the car with him, which was probably not the safest place to be, but under the car with him, learning how to do stuff and uh, handing him tools that I'm sure were the wrong tool, but he took them anyway. We, we did a lot of things growing up, um, everything from skinning a deer to uh, making something in the garage with wood. Uh, uh, but Daddy was always so much fun. Um, he did love hunting and fishing. He was always uh, ready to go on a hunt. I remember one particular day he came home. Uh, us kids, we stayed here with Mom, and he and Uncle Bob pulled up, and, and he had a deer, and they strung him up in the tree uh, in the front yard, and uh, we got the deer there. He, and Uncle Bob and he always had a good time going. Um, he, Papa Jack went on several hunts uh, with my husband, and. They always had a good time and lots of adventures. He loved being out in the woods. It didn't matter which woods, as long as he was in the woods. Those were his favorite places to be. From October through January, he lived in the woods. He loved to hunt and fish. I can remember going hunting with him when I was probably 12 or 13 years old. And um, it, it was hilarious. I, I just can't even believe that my mom would let me go out like that with him. But, uh, we would go out and he gave me my own gun, um, had my own coveralls, camo coveralls. Some of the memories I have of him are one time he took me and my brother out to the back of their place where they had a pond and he took us fishing and we kept throwing the line out again and again and again and we caught the same fish over and over and over. <laughs> And I got impatient and I got the hook stuck in Papa Jack's thumb. He might have said a few bad words, but he still claimed me as a granddaughter. Catfish farm, oh yes. When we discovered that when the kids were all little, uh, Grand and Papa Jack, they would take us all and we would have so much fun. As soon as we threw our uh, rod in the water, or line in the water, um, the kids would start catching fish and the adults couldn't even fish because we were too busy taking fish off the kids' hooks, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, he really enjoyed doing fun things like that. Um, going to the lake, taking everybody uh, fishing, and, and um, tubing and skiing, I thought he lived for that. That was a lot of fun. Every time I think of Papa Jack, I think of him taking me to school in the morning since I used to stay the night with him all the time. And we would always listen to his old country music and I never knew any of the words, <laughs> but he would sing along to it always. I would go around with him everywhere hunting. We'd drive around in his truck for hours, listen to old, like the Johnny Horton cassette tapes. and old country songs on the radio. A funny memory that sticks out to me is actually two different ones. He would always do the funny trick where he thought it was absolutely hilarious to pull on his ears and then his fake teeth would come out and he thought it was the funniest thing ever and it always made everybody laugh. And then another one would be when Blake and COVID wrecked the four-wheeler and he just hollered for the longest time at them about how stupid they were for wrecking that thing and it was just really funny. We thought it was funny, they didn't think it was yeah. funny. <laughs> so yeah. If you go through some of our family albums, you'll see anywhere from two kids to five kids to, and two dogs. Um, they rode around all the time. In fact, when Coban was little, he would uh, ride him around the four-wheeler until he went to sleep, which usually didn't last very long. Um, another memory I have of him is right after I graduated high school. 
um, I had a whole bunch of cards given to me and he gave me one too, which is very uncommon for him because he doesn't do sentimental things like that very often. This card says something along the lines of, um, I hope you get every happiness because no one deserves it more than you. And he signed it, Love Papa Jack. He didn't write very much, but it was in his own handwriting and he gave me a really pretty necklace too. So I'm always going to cherish that. Daddy always had a, a special way of making you feel very important and very special. And I admire him for that. And I hope that I instill just a little bit of that in my children as well. He was just a funny guy to be around. And you could tell that he was a strong man just by his demeanor and the way he carried himself and strong emotionally and physically. He was a man of integrity. He had a, he had a, he had a good thing going. He passed away in December of 2013. I had no sense of direction after that. For a long time. But Jack was the direction for our family for years. He was a patriarch. Papa Jack, he was like the bones of this family, really. Like, he we, held everybody together. Yeah. yeah. He, he was a special guy, yeah. to say the least. Yeah. He loved to cook. He loved to cook. One of his favorite meals to make was dumplings. And uh, to this day, nobody knows exactly how to make his dumplings, but we'll keep trying. He loved to spend time with the family. and He loved the farm. He was a farmer. He loved to garden. He was a good, good old country boy. We miss him every day, I think about him, and we miss him so much. He loved to be with his family, he loved to cook out, and have family over every weekend, loved holidays. Our holidays were fun. He, uh, every holiday was special to him. He liked, uh, he loved to cook. Uh, he was probably the best cook. Um, always liked to have lots of people around. The more the merrier was the way he kind of operated. Um, always wanting us to bring a friend or a relative uh, from the other sides of the family. Um, he enjoyed having people around, uh, loved to do cookouts, barbecues, oh my goodness. Being a part of the Shelby family is one of the best things ever. Most of the time is a good time. <laughs>